Hello and welcome back to another card video here on Getaway Day Cards. Today is a little bit different. We are not going to be do, uh, doing a wax opening or a mail day. Uh, uh, sort of. I, I guess in a way this is a mail day, but uh, as you guys know, I've been working on a Nolan Arenado 2022 Topps Finest Rainbow. Um, I have continued or getting some cards there and I decided that it's time that I actually start grading some of my rainbow. Um, so I sent off, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cards to SGC. Um, mostly because I really like the look of this lab and these are going to stay in my personal collection for a very long time. So don't really mind that they're not going to have the best return on investment being SGC versus PSA. Um, but I wanted to just show you, uh, Basically, the cards that I'm going to put in my display case here, um, along with my rainbow, because I do have a couple of uh, other cool cards of Nolan Arenado here, um, and show you some of the ones I decided not to grade. Uh, and then I have one that is uh, yet to be seen on the channel that is an addition to the rainbow. Then we have all the cards that I graded. So it's a little bit of a hodgepodge. But uh, we're going to start with some of the cards that are in my collection, but um, either I didn't get them graded or they're already graded. And so we're starting out with actually a rookie Topps Finest Nolan Arenado from 2013. So this has been in my collection for a little bit now. I thought doing the rainbow of his 2022s, it would be really, really cool to have his rookie finest there as well. So we have one of those. It's going in the display case, which I will show you guys as soon as I get it up and on the wall. Then we get to the start of our rainbows. And I actually went out of order on these for some reason. Um, just flipped real quick. So we have our four of the six uh, cornerstone inserts from 2022 Top Finest. So we have the base. We have the black and gold Kinsakuroi refractor which is non-numbered, but they are incredibly short printed. I think this is like one in every 80 something packs. There is a Kensukuroi, 100 and something packs. I, I can't remember. Um, and then we have the gold which is numbered to 50. That is numbered 49 of 50. And we have the red gold Kensukuroi, which is number uh, even more short printed than the black and gold. There's I think estimated about 35 of these cards in existence. So it's between the red out of five, which I do not have. And I have not seen in the wild and uh, the gold. I do know where the super fractor is for that set. Um, I found the dude on Instagram. He is a major Arenado collector and basically has all the super fractors of everything you can possibly find. Uh, so he's got that one. So that's going to be kind of a hard get if I can ever get that in my in my collection. Then we get to the rainbow or the main rainbow that I'm working on, which is his base cards. So I uh, I've st or had someone take a look at all of the cards that I have for this rainbow and um, tell me which ones they would grade uh, that would basically come out as a nine or a ten. Uh, and these are the ones that he said are not quite. Not quite up to snuff for a 9 or a 10, in his opinion. Um, he's not really steered me wrong in the past, so I trust him. So I'm going to actually be looking for better versions of these cards. Um, but the, none of them are really all that rare, so it shouldn't be all that difficult. So we've got our base card, our regular refractor, of which I've got like 400 of both of those. So I probably have some better ones in there, and I just haven't found them yet. Uh, our sky blue is numbered to 300. It's pretty off center top to bottom and you could you could kind of see that. There's not really a whole lot of room on top of the top's finest logo there. And the um area down here below his name is is quite thick. Um but we have number 37 of 300 for that. Uh we also have our sky blue aqua vapor refractor numbered to 250, number 22 of 250. And it's got similar issues. It's also got a couple of surface issues on this particular card. So we didn't send that one in. And this one is the easiest to tell how off center it is. Like there is almost no space up above the top's finest logo there. And it was in such bad shape. I didn't even bother giving it a top loader that was clear. 
So this top loader actually has tape marks all over it, and we're going to get a better card. Um, we also have two of our greens. Our true green is a little bit off center, top bottom, um, and as is our green uh, lava is off center, top bottom. So those two are going to be a little bit more difficult to find because they are numbered to 99. So 93 of 99 on the true green and 76 of 99 on the lava. So those are all cards that I am looking for some upgrades on. Um, so if you guys have any of those particular cards uh, and they are in fairly good shape, uh, reach out to me and I would love to take a look at them. Um, then I've got two more cards that um, that was very out of focus. Our next card that is not in my return from today is actually our uh, orange out of 25 for the rainbow. Uh, and I bought it as an SGC 10. So this was graded when I bought it. Um, it's also the kind of best condition card that I had in my collection at the time for this rainbow. And it is numbered 18 of 25. So I was really excited to see that. And it just looks beautiful in the SGC case. So I actually decided to get all of them done in SGC. Um, as a uh, direct comparison, here is one in the PSA slab, which is the Red Black Vapor Refractor out of 10. Um, it is a PSA 8. Um, this one you guys have not actually seen yet. It has not been on my channel yet. Uh, it is on my personal Instagram, but that's it. But this card is incredibly difficult to find. And then after I bought this one, another one raw actually went up for auction. And I got this graded as a PSA 8 for $50, and I think the raw went for about 80 But this is numbered 1 of 10. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that one yet, if I'm going to leave it PSA or if I'm going to try and move it over to SGC. Um, but that is the rarest one that I have in the rainbow so far. So now we get to the fun part, the actual reason for this video, and that is that I have a bunch of stuff returned from SGC. So I have only seen the grade on one of them, and it was an accident when I was setting up my video. It, it is this top one here. Um, so m all but one of these are part of my rainbow. The other one is actually a card that I bought back on a work trip in California here a couple months ago. And it is a first Bowman Nolan Arenado numbered to 250 orange. And I was expecting this to grade as an eight. And so seeing that nine right there, that is awesome. I was not expecting that. I am incredibly excited for that. But that is from 2010. Um, I knew it had a little bit of whiting on like that corner you could see. Um, maybe not on, on the video, but both of the top corners, actually all four of the corners have some whiting. And the uh, edge there has kind of a white spot as well. So I was a little bit worried that that was going to grade out as an eight. It came back as a nine. We're incredibly excited. Now comes to the stuff that I've not seen yet. And we have our gold refractor out of 50 from Finest. And it is an SGC9. So we were hoping to get a little bit better than that. I think this is one of them that had a shot at a 10, if I remember right. Um, but, well, let's see. Hopefully we get a couple 10s in here. Uh, next, we have our Rose Gold Refractor out of 75, I believe. And this one is a gem. It is a 10. That is awesome. I, this is honestly my favorite in this entire rainbow. It just looks so sleek with, uh, with this picture. Like, it's not a true color match, but it's pretty close to it. Um... Let's see, then we've got our Aqua Shimmer out of 175, and it also came back as a 10. All right, so we have uh, two nines, two tens, and then stuff that I already had in my collection. So let's kind of do that. So we have our Green Speckle out of 125 that is a 10. All right, so three for five so far. We've got our Aqua at a 199, and it is a 10. 
Then we've got our purple out of 250, and I'm going to guess this one's a 9. 9.5. Not bad. I forgot about the half grades for SGC, so that's actually that's nice to see because uh, I was expecting it to be down here. And then our final card that I sent off was the Rose Gold Mini Diamond. This one, I have no idea what it might be. It is a 9.5. All right. That is just a really sleek looking card. But I am very, very happy with this. Um, out of eight cards I sent, four of them came back as 10s, two as 9.5s, and two of them as 9s. This one I really thought was going to be an 8 or an 8.5. I can't be too upset with that. That's awesome. Um, and I'll put a picture up on my uh, my Instagram as soon as I get everything in my case and my case up on my wall. But yeah, I just wanted to share an update on my rainbow with you guys because it's been a hot minute since I've uh, shared an update there. So if you guys have any uh, any leads on the uh, red out of five or the um cornerstone insert or the base card the pink and purple vapor refractor out of three for the base card and the super refractor for the base card please let me know in the comments um i've been searching for these for a long time i've not seen any come up in the wild yet and sold or or on instagram or anything so any help would be greatly appreciated um, if you enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I have a sub goal of 150 subs, and when we hit 150, I'm going to be giving away a box of 2022 Tops, or, uh, sorry, 2022 Tops Chrome Platinum Anniversary Hobby Light. Um, so it'll be uh, four black and, uh, black and white mini diamond parallels. Um, no guaranteed auto, but it is a fantastic rip. Uh, love that product. Uh, and I want to give that away for, uh, for you guys um, as a thank you for your support. So um, thank you very much, and we will see you next time. If you enjoy the podcast, please subscribe on your favorite podcasting app or YouTube to make sure you don't miss any future episodes. Join the conversation on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok at Getaway Day Pod. If you enjoy card collecting, check out our sister YouTube channel at Getaway Day Cards.